Sabaha everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I have for you a quick walkthrough of the latest beta release of Android P on our OnePlus 6. I'm also going to share with you guys a process on how to be able to get this installed on your OnePlus 6 if you want to check it out, but also returning you back to Oxygen OS on Oreo in case you don't want to stick with it. Um, although this is actually by far the best preview we've had. This is TK, let's check it out. running for the last couple of days on this build on my OnePlus 6. Uh, I'll walk you through the process and how I was able to get it installed. Now this is installed on my device already, but the installation process is actually pretty simple. Although you do want to back up your information off your device before you go through and install Android P as when you're getting into it, it requires you to do an actual factory reset within the recovery and that will wipe everything off your device. So if you're ready with that and you've already backed up your information, let's go ahead and walk through the process. There'll be a link in the description to where you'll be able to download the latest build. And once you download that, there's two files you need to download there. There's the actual ROM, which is what we want to download and install. And you'll notice it right there, Oxygen OS DP3. And of course, what we need to also download is the reverse process of this, which is basically the reverse ROM. And that part will remove, will take us out of uh, being in Oxygen OS with Android P to regular Oxygen run on Android Oreo. And that's something that you want to keep in mind. Getting in and out requires you to use the local update functionality built into the device. Now, this does not require a custom recovery or anything. You just go in, install it, and you'll be able to run it. Um, actually, you do need to go back into the uh, standard recovery within Oxygen OS or OnePlus' standard recovery, and then do a factory reset when you're going into Android P. Although when you're going back, the instructions don't recommend it, but again, if you're going in and out of it, I'd recommend you just doing a factory reset so you start pretty fresh. And then normally you'll be able to check and see if there's any updates for your device. And again, as I mentioned, I'm writing Android P already. Uh, what you go is into this little uh, gear at the top and choose local update. And you'll notice there's two files. Um, in this situation, if you were going into Android P, you'd go ahead and select this. And then it'll ask you, do you really want to install it? Local update. And I'm going to say cancel at this time. But yes, go through that process and then restart the device. Go into your recovery and select factory data reset, meaning it's going to reset the device to factory settings. And that's going to give you the ability to just basically start fresh and there's no compatibility issues with any of the applications installed. Overall, as far as functionality, you notice I'm already using gestures. Let's go ahead and bring them in. Now, these are OnePlus gestures. These are not Android P's gestures. So there's a little bit of a difference here. You'll notice if I swipe up and go in the middle, we are going into the cart style, similar to the way Android P does it. Uh, but again, one of the main things I noticed here, like an example would be here, if I swipe this card away, the remove all, it's gone, it's gone basically, I don't see that. But if I wiggle this card, bring it back in, it does come back. A little bit of a hiccup or a little bit of a, a bug, but I think this is very, very minor. Uh, of course, we still have the never sell option here on the left, to be able to add all the different options, uh, shortcuts, applications, node, contacts, and of course, uh, the swipe gestures, as I mentioned, everything is still running here, so I can just swipe back, back home, uh, and then of course, swipe and hold. All of those are working very, very well. The camera works as well very, very nicely. We do have Google Lens functioning within the camera app at this point. Let's go ahead and open it up. You'll notice right there, it actually does work. Um, let me just show you guys real quick here. Let's just tap here and see if you'll be able to recognize it. Um, it might be one of these Apple EarPods. No, they're not Apple EarPods. You got to keep working at it. Let's try it one more time. Okay, well, uh, Lens keeps thinking this is Apple EarPods, but you know what? <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll take it in. Uh, but the application does work and it worked pretty well. I was able to use it over the weekend and uh, took a couple of pictures of my son's uh, swim meet and it, you know, overall it's pretty good. Uh, the other thing I want to mention to you guys, you'll notice is that the volume rocker option here is actually pretty well. Uh, when you click it here, it gives you the option to switch between uh, the different devices that you have, either built-in speaker or uh, Bluetooth. And of course, conversely, if you're using that. And I've been using them with these pairs of headphones. These are true wireless headphones for the last couple of days. Um, and there's a review coming out on these pretty soon. But these are uh, Bluetooth 5.0 headphones, uh, true wireless headphones. So overall, performance is pretty good. I have to say uh, the launching of applications, uh, running everything. The camera app does actually work and one of the options that they said that they did fix in here is the ability to be able to give us access to the camera within other applications. Example would be here, here's Instagram. I'm able to actually use the application and then take a picture of it and be able to post it directly to Instagram if I want to. Um, so that's one of the compatibility issues that they did fix with this Android preview. Uh, other than that, I think, uh, you know, dots, everything like that. We do have theming. You'll notice I, I am running a black theme. If I go into the settings, you'll notice uh, overall the theme is applied right away. I can go into display, uh, ambient display, uh, lift up to the look, of course, uh, full screen. The theme is dark and you have the ability to go in light, default or dark, uh, uh, blink light. Of course, this is for notification, font, 
status. And I noticed that they do give us all the options that we go through here, but then when I click the actual buttons, you notice you're able to see the preview right away here in the display. So you can see the color changing on this image. Uh, display, app notifications, sound, button gestures. As I showed you guys, gestures are working. By default, they're not turned on, so you can go in there and then just change them on. I like to have them on, but you have the ability of having them in here. Um, one thing I did want to double check, so if I turn off rotation, do we get that rotation functionality? And that's present right there. So you'll notice right there, if you have the keyboard, or well, if you have the navigation bar showing and you have the rotation turned off, it will notify you of it here. Unfortunately, when you go into gestures, uh, that functionality goes away because gestures disables it. So for me, I don't actually need it as much. Uh, it doesn't actually show up as much, but if you have the actual navigation bar, this will be something that you can keep. Fingerprint unlocking is really, really fast as well as face unlock. It works really, really good. And those things are definitely very snappy here on Android P. Android 9, uh, July 5th, 2018 security update. So if you just press it here, of course, we still have the Android P little Easter egg that we have here. Definitely a daily driver ready build if you've wanted to try out Android P and you've been holding back because of some of the issues you've heard. Um, overall, it's not gonna have the longest battery life. Uh, Bluetooth issues here and there, uh, I did actually use my Bluetooth headset over the weekend. I think overall it still works. Again, it's a preview build, it's not a final release. Uh, but the fact that the camera works very well, Google Lens has been uh, operational here and it works really, really well. Um, all apps just work really good. Again, getting this on your device is not that hard, but you do need to go through a factory reset. So keep in mind, uh, back up your information before you go through that process. So that way you can actually try out Android P, not have to worry about it, take pictures, do whatever you want. And then when you're done with it, use the exact same process. And there's a separate file in that same thread that I'm sharing with you guys that says basically it's the reverse process. And it, that takes you back to Oxygen OS on Android O. And what that does for you basically just reverts you back to standard Oxygen OS. And you'll be able to receive OTA updates everything works normal these are official builds from oneplus we're not changing anything there so just keep that in mind that this is not going to root your device this is not going to unroot your device unless you were rooted before but i think you're good uh, let me know in the comments below have you tried android p on your oneplus 6 i know there's a lot of oneplus 6 users here that follow me on this channel so i wanted to share this with you guys how to a get it on how to b check it out and c how to get it back to android oreo if you don't want to stay on android p this is tk thank you very much for the support and i'll see you guys in the next video